Bonjour, Emily Talpin, OM Sister Ambassador in the US. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I thought I would tell you about my holy trinity of OM System lenses. So let's get started. <music> What lens is your favorite lens? Which lens could you not live without? That's something that we always talk about as photographers. So I decided it would be a great short video for this week. And I'm going to try to keep it a little bit short because you can tell, yeah, I caught up a bad cold. But fortunately, it's this weekend. I'm on a rest because I am so excited that the leaves here in New Hampshire are already starting to turn in the White Mountains and I can't wait to get out there and photograph. But let's talk about my three favorite OM System Olympus lenses. The first one that is always, always on my camera is the amazing 150 400. I am a wildlife photographer and I do a lot of macro photography and I'm starting to get into landscape, uh, especially with the OM5, which I'm using right now to film this video. And so my Holy Trinity is all about that. It's all about photographing big animals from far away. It's all about photographing landscape and it's all about photographing macro. So it doesn't mean that my Holy Trinity will be your Holy Trinity. Uh, but as a pro photographer, this is the gear. That's my go-to gear. Always, always on my OM-1. It's, it lives on my OM-1. Fantastic lens that they actually just got back into stock. That's right. I've heard that they have them in stock now which is huge. So if you want one, uh, go and, and order them from OM System. I have a link. Actually, it's an affiliated link. If you're interested, uh, you can use it. It helps me. It helps the channel as well. So 150, 400. I love it because it even has a built-in teleconverter, 1.25 teleconverter. The reach on this lens is stunning. The sharpness of this lens is out of this world. It is really a fantastic lens and it actually is very light uh, for such a lens, for such a reach. Also, I'm more of a zoom photographer for wildlife. I like to have that flexibility of being very close, but also then uh, get the distance. So the 150, 400 plus the teleconverter works very well for me. So very often when I hike, that's my go-to camera when I know I'm gonna do bird photography. But go to lens number one, the fantastic 150, 400. And uh, you can notice I have a little stabilization here. It's made of wood by my good friend Edward. And he's actually making me a new one. So uh, I'll probably do a video about this little gimbal. Uh, it's very cool. It helps me a lot when I'm in the field. Now, some of you are going to tell me that's great, but you're showing us lenses that are for pro photographers. We don't have that budget. We are not pro photographers. And actually, you could be a pro photographer and have a different lens. That's fine. So my other lens that I would recommend if you have a smaller budget is the 100-400. It's a great lens, a lot of reach. You can also add teleconverter. It's not as bright. That's a f4.5, whereas this is a 5 and 6.3 fully extended. So yes, you know, my go-to lens, but there are times where I want to go really, really small. That fits actually into my 4.5 uh, bag. So this is sometimes what I replace my 150-400 for. A really great option if you do not have the budget for the 150-400. So I'm just trying to reach out to all budget. Big budget, smaller budget. Now, my second lens, and actually my two lenses, they fit in my 4.5 liter bag. And that's what I like. I don't want my Holy Trilogy is really all about being compact 
and carrying small gear. I don't want to be burdened by heavy gear when I photograph, but I also don't want to limit myself. And a lot of photographers, when they talk about the Holy Trinity, they talk about the fact that, um, you know, they can have three lenses that are going to help them reach all the focal lenses that they need. So they're very versatile. For me, as a macro photographer, wildlife photographer, landscape photographer, um, I find that those free lenses that I'm going to show you are really what I need to be able to create, even if they don't cover all the focal lenses. For macro photography, I really like to have as much magnification as I can. So my 90 millimeter macro would be my second Holy Trinity lens. This lens is absolutely brilliant because it gives you so much flexibility in terms of composition because of the magnification you can get. You can even add teleconverters to get more magnification. Uh, it's just such a flexible lens and I love the fact that you can switch from manual with the manual clutch. I really, really enjoy shooting with that lens. And this lens is also very good, like most, you know, macro lenses for portrait. So that also can cover my portrait need. Now, this is more on the expensive side. It's also on the bigger size. It's quite a big lens, but it's, it's really, really really light. Um, it's actually surprising uh, seeing the size of this lens. Now, if you don't have the budget for this lens, another lens I would recommend is the 60 millimeter macro. This fits in my pocket. It's really a great portrait lens as well. So it's more versatile as a lens. So that would be my recommendation for you. If uh, you're looking for a macro lens in your Holly Trinity, then uh, you should really consider this beautiful 60 millimeter macro lens. So now I have my wildlife covered, I have my macro covered. And so what is my last lens? Well, it's a teeny tiny lens, it's a baby lens. It's not a pro lens actually. Um, it is the 25 millimeter lens and it is a F1.8 lens very very bright i love this lens because it's usually the lens that i shoot my video with so right now I'm shooting with the 12 to 100 which is another great lens it could definitely be part of my holy trinity but i feel like my holy trinity should also include a very very short lens and what I can do with this lens is I can use it for night photography. That's why I think it's more flexible. It again fits in my pocket. So that's why even if it's not a pro lens, it's a very sharp lens. It's a flexible lens. Filming portrait lens, doing some night photography. This is definitely always, always with me when I travel. So I feel confident that with those three lenses that I show you, or even go with the less expensive one and also smaller, more compact. You know, if I'm going for a very compact setup, uh, I might switch with the uh, less expensive and still extremely, extremely good, uh, extremely sharp lenses, even if they are not pro lenses. And I feel like if I had those three lenses and that's it for the rest of my life, I'll be able to accomplish a lot and I'll be very, very happy with them. Now, let me know in the comment, do you have those lenses? What do you think about those lenses? What is your Holly Trinity? What is maybe your dream Holly Trinity? I think that would be a great topic of discussion for this week. And I wanna thank you again for all your support. If you are not a subscriber, Click on the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when my videos are coming out. And I cannot wait to discuss lenses with you. And uh, I talk lenses, but uh, you know, in uh, my uh, 4.5 liter bag, I also, I include a uh, flash, the FL700, and uh, I like to clip my diffuser here. So that's a good 
addition to my macro setup. But this video is all about lenses, so that's why I'm not going to spend too much time talking about uh, the rest of my equipment. But again, small, compact, I'm ready to go, I am not burdened by any gear, and still I can do a lot of different types of photography, which is why I love the OM system. It's such a great system. Then it makes sense, OM system, yeah, it's, it's all about a system that works for you. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment. Can't wait to discuss this topic with you this week. And I will see you next week. I'm hoping that I'm not going to be as sick and I'll be able to take you with me outside, maybe on a night a macro photo walk. That would be very fun. Or we'll see how the leaves are. I might take you up in the White Mountains. Uh, we'll see what the weather brings. It's been quite interesting this year. And uh, until then, happy shooting. See you very, very soon. Au revoir.